In this tutorial, you're going to learn about five books that will help build self-discipline. This is a skill that every leader must have. If you're someone who wants to read something for self-improvement and to gain new knowledge, stick around. Let's cut to the chase and list these five books starting with number one. And this one has quite an amusing title. First, we have Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. This is perhaps one of the best books on beating procrastination and maximizing your productivity. So you're probably thinking, where did the author get the title for this book? Well, it comes from a quote by Mark Twain. He famously said, if it's your job to eat a frog, it's best to do it first thing in the morning. And if it's your job to eat two frogs, it's best to eat the biggest one first. In other words, it's a good idea to get the most important or unpleasant tasks out of the way before getting to the ones that are nicer or not so important. Second, we have The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. It talks about habits and the science behind them. So if you're looking to break bad habits and replace them with new ones, then this is the obvious choice. Third, we have The Marshmallow Test by Walter Mischel. Here's an interesting fact. The author of this book was 84 years old by the time of its release. If anything, it's never too late to get started on something you desire to do, whether that's starting a business or setting and conquering a huge goal. Anyway, this book is based on a study that was done at Stanford University. It was a study on self-control and how people just look at a marshmallow and resist the temptation to eat it. This will give you a glimpse at how important self-control is. Fourth, we have The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. If you're someone who is the creative type, this is a must-read, and I'm dead serious here when I say that. So the book is separated into three parts. Resistance, Combating Resistance, and Beyond Resistance. By the way, even if you aren't a creative person or even a business owner, I highly suggest that you read this because this is a book that can help you break your bad habits and be able to live life while having full control over it. The fifth and final book is The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. This will not only help you to make small decisions and acquire those small wins, it will also help you snowball that into even greater heights of success. This applies to almost all the areas in your life. If you need a book to add to your personal library, this is the one you might want. By the way, this is a book that will help you stay the path and turn your small wins into large ones. The sooner you read this, the better off you'll be. And that'll do it for this presentation. Before we leave, I want to say that self-discipline is critical when it comes to your business and personal lives. You want to break bad habits and replace them with new ones. You want to make sure that you do your part to build a level of self-discipline that will make it easier to say no. These are five books that I highly recommend you read. I believe that there are others that I didn't mention, but don't worry, I might do another one of these presentations for five more of these books in the not-so-distant future. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.